Hi, I'm Robert Gattis, Founder and Chief Technology Officer of Brilliant Energy, and I'd like to give you a tour of our facility. We're located in downtown Berkeley, California, and this is the entryway and conference room of our facility. This is actually where I sit, and uh, I sit here because uh, during non-COVID-19 shelter-in-place times, there's not uncommon to have six people working in this lab and there's no place else for me to sit. Uh, it's quite warm today, so there's a lot of fans going. This is Amir. He can only work when he's here, doing some work on uh, tracking information on catalyst rods. This is our build it, fix it, test it sort of area. A lot of uh, equipment to look at things closely and test. Here we have a user interface station that is used to control this test system over here and also largely for software development, improvements in reactor design. Is the area where, this is where Ron Grembang would typically sit. He uh, is our chief electrical engineer. Much of his equipment from this area over here is at his house right now so he can continue to work while sheltering in place. Uh, our parts ordering uh, material supply person sits here, Tom Driscoll. Barry Edgehill typically sits here. Project manager, he's likely to be in later today. Our mechanical engineer will often come and use this desk here. And just to give you a sort of a different view of the, the other area. This is where Fran Tanzella, when he comes in uh, uh, during non-shelter-in-place times, he will frequently sit here. And this is where Jin Liu, who is currently working from home, sits. And our software guy will come in uh, when he's not here. We will use this to build other pieces of uh, pieces and parts for the the reactor. Here we have. This is our cube room. We call it the cube room because we've got this huge uh, Lexan cube um, here. Early on we were working with high pressure uh, wet reactors, water electrolytic tube systems. These are the user interfaces and we collect a tremendous amount of data. You can control all kinds of things on here. This is, uh, this one actually has cube pulses running. Where's so that allows you to turn the Q supplies on and off, turn the Q pulse on and off, set the frequency. You can see that there is a sequence currently running. There's a lot of information on here about how the system is behaving, uh, flow rates, gas control, all manner of different things that, uh, that can be controlled through the user interface. And then in here are two reactors in this room. There are two more in the back room. Those are water circulation chillers. Keep the water at 20 degrees centigrade that you can see on the display there. And every system has an oscilloscope hooked up to it. There's a cue pulse and there you can see the cue pulse generator operating. Here's the reactors. Uh, get a little bit of a close-up in there. There's the interface to the uh, routes the signal from the from the pulse generator into the reactor into the catalyst rod. Um, every 10 seconds, we collect uh, about, uh, about two milliseconds of data. The samples at five gigahertz. A lot of geek talk there. And. Now we're heading back out. We'll go around the corner to the very front or back of the facility. This is the single largest consumer of hydrogen. You can see that our hydrogen is, is very clean. There are two more user interface stations here. You can see steps, steps in the uh, sequence going through identical reactors. Uh, this part is much taller. It was initially designed for another type of reactor, but all the components are the same as components in the other reactor. You can swap components between any, any two of the reactors. Um, we log a tremendous amount of data. Uh, 
click on the logging tab and I think there's about 60 different variables that we log now. Um, you can see as we scroll through all the various things that are that are logged, a bunch of digital values. So uh, this technology is actually quite mature. We're getting close to uh, having system having a system that's actually ready to uh, put into the market. The biggest thing we need now is enough funding to finish the manufacturing engineering on the catalyst rod. So there you have it, a quick walkthrough of the Brillwin Energy Facilities. I hope you enjoyed the, the brief tour, and let me know if you have any questions.